This is the first video for Proof by Contradiction. Um, this is an HL only topic and definitely new to IB. Um, not brand new to me, but it's probably been 20 years. So I've been practicing and hopefully um, this will make sense as we go through this. So the idea with Proof by Contradiction is that we assume the opposite of what we're trying to prove and then we, we work under that assumption and then we find something that's it's obviously wrong, and therefore our initial statement must have been false, our initial um, assumption. So we find a contradiction somewhere. Um, so I, these, are the two, these are two of the examples that our book does. I think they do a third one. Um, and then this one I found online, and I thought that this would be worth, worth trying um, as proof by contradiction. So we'll see how much I do in the first video. Um, so the first one, it says, prove that log base 2 of 3 is irrational. Um, so this might be something that we know to be true, um, but we have to prove it. So on this one, so what we'll do is we'll say um, that we will um, we'll, we'll assume, assume that log base 2 of 3 is rational. Okay, so this is one of those where the opposite, it's either going to be rational or irrational. And so we're assuming the opposite. We're assuming the negation of that. Um, if that's true, then this would imply that log base 2 of 3 could be written as a rational number, p over q, where p and q are both elements of the integers. Okay, if it's rational, then we have to be able to write it as a fraction um, where the numerator and the denominator are um, our integers. Okay, then if that's the case, then we can do I heart logs, then we have 2 to the p over q would be equal to 3. That would imply that. Okay, and now notice I can, I've got this um, 2 to the p over q is equal to 3. I could raise both sides to the q. So this would imply that 2 to the p is equal to 3 to the q. Um, but what we're going to find is that no matter what you raise to, um, if you raise, well, okay, let me, let's go back for a second. In order for, the, there is one value that we could use for P and Q that, um, that would make this a true statement, and that's zero. But the problem with using zero is that that's not a rational number, because then, um, and I should say, um, P and Q are elements of the integers where Q is not equal to zero, okay? Because you can't divide by zero, you're not Chuck Norris. Um, so what we find here, that we could find that these, these would be equal if P was raised to zero and Q was raised to zero. But we just, well, we went back and fixed our, our work. But we realized that Q cannot be equal to zero because if so, then you're dividing by zero here. Um, so what happens is we can say since the left-hand side, left-hand side um, will always be even because whenever, it, no matter what number, um, well, these are integers, big, um, these are integers, we can use positive or negative. Um, can we use negative? I have to think about that. But we know that any positive integer we plug in is going to give us an even number. Um, is one over is one fourth even? Not really, but okay. Here we go. Since um, since the left hand side will be even, and the right hand side will be odd, we have a contradiction. I can't spell. Contradiction. Okay. Therefore, what we conclude is our assumption was, was, was wrong. Our assumption was false. Therefore, we conclu conclude that log base 2 of 3 is, is irrational. Okay, so obviously you can tell from that one I was a little hesitant on a couple things. Um, I followed um, how the book worked this problem and they didn't uh, this is what they talked about that being even and odd so obviously um i need to practice this and therefore you really need to practice this also uh, i'm going to do the next one in its own video so you can come back and find the next one